So is GovGuam really implementing recommendations from the Office of Public Accountability? According to the OPA, out of a review of 65 audit reports issued between calendar years 2001 and 2006, seven are still open. Cumulatively, the 65 audits included 420 recommendations with a total financial impact of $74 million. Between 2007 and 2009, a review of 35 audit reports which included 85 recommendations with a total of $35 million in financial impact 67 recommendations were implemented. Meanwhile, between calendar years 2010 and 2011, 21 audit reports collectively identified roughly 34 million in financial impact. 23.6 million of that were question costs. According to the OPA as of September 2012, 27 out of 77 recommendations were addressed while 55 remain open. The OPA notes that it usually takes up to four years for an agency to clean up its act. Although the Office of Public Accountability believes that it is ultimately management's responsibility for implementing recommendations and should ensure their agencies are committed to sustaining an effective internal control environment, elected officials and governing bodies should encourage implementation through effective oversight. Public Auditor Doris Flores Brooks, meantime, says that although Guam law allows her office to take legal action to force the implementation of the recommendations, the OPA has yet to exercise, quote, this arduous and costly remedy, end quote.